All right, guys, welcome to the course and helping you create a 3D uh, animation um, short, uh, basically using the tools of Unreal Engine. So the first step that's really important is setting up what scene do you want to use. Now, as you can see on my screen, there's some pretty incredible scenes that are very high level, high res. So one of the things you may want to take serious time to think about is, can my computer currently handle that? And the answer for almost everyone is probably not really okay now one of the things i want to remind you of that i told you to run on at least medium if not low in your uh, engine scalability settings if you're not sure how to do that um, i'll just take a project that i have open here and you just basically go here settings engine scalability now i'm running mine on epic because i have a, a 2070 video card uh, so it can handle it but you might not have that. So the next question is, well, where can I get some assets? Well, probably if you have access to it, the Unreal Engine Marketplace has quite a few free assets that you can look through. And I will include a few video links for my students that they can go and view what these assets are. But under the Marketplace, you can have a quick look under free and under permanently free there's quite a few there uh, and one that i'm going to recommend are infinity blades now assets the only problem with infinity blades is that they look kind of like uh, you know fantasy uh, game style you know rpg uh, you know dungeons and dragon that kind of stuff uh, sometimes too free for the month it's only available that month so if you add it to your account it's available but let's have a look here at Marketplace Collection. So I'll click on that. I'll go a larger screen. And these are really great. City of Brass, City of... They're, they're also not that high res. Um, I think, well, especially these ones, Edith Finch. So you can... What you would have to do is create a project and add it to it. But before you do so, you have to actually buy it. So let's say, for example, I want to buy this one. I think I've already done it. Then you add it to the project once you've bought it. So often you have to create a project. You know, I just recommend that you create, uh, you know, launch whatever version you have. Create a project with a third person uh, game character and then just add it to it. If you need a hand with that, let me know. It's pretty simple. Um, some other really cool assets that you can look at. Uh, I think permanently free collect. They're, they're not the same things in each one so you have to kind of look click again and uh, infinity blade is really good i think it's in here infinity. press enter um well i don't see them in here they're, they're probably in the unreal section so explore them look at them here's a, a really nice one that you could use a downtown so what you're trying to do is find an environment that you can use that's the first step to coming up with your story. How, where is the story happening? What does it look like? It's going to have a huge impact on what you're going to say and want to say. So you want to start there. Okay, I'm going to stop this video shortly. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make available uh, some assets that we can share with five licenses. So five students in the class can use it because we have the education education we're an education institute my understanding is we'd be able to have five groups use this so um i'll make this available in google classroom um in a second so we'll take a few minutes to download probably like 10 or so and these are all different scenes that uh, we purchased so what you can do is let's take uh, for example um each one of these is different. So if you click on it, you open it, it's not yet unzipped. So you'll have to unzip if you choose to use it. But before you do that, just look at it, okay? So this will give you a scene of what it kind of looks like. So this is this environment. It'll look like wintry, you know, with Viking characters. Now you can use characters from one area to another, and I'll show you how to do that in another video. So let's say I don't want that one. Okay, so I'll go back and say, all right, how about, uh, so it kind of gives you here, Synth Studios, Probably, oh, this is a city. Okay, let's have a look at that one. So maybe I want to have a scene in a city. Now, what I love about the polygon assets is they're very low uh, polygon. So for old computers, you won't have issues. So you see, you got police officers, you got normal looking people. So 
So maybe that's what you want for your uh, video that we're going to create, uh, your cinematic. Or maybe you want something here, Sci-Fi City. Let's have a look. Now, just click on this.